Hello, my gorgeous Sagittarians. This is Devs and this is your TGIF for Friday, the 8th of March, 2024. Sagi, it's amazing to be with you. Thank you guys for being here. Let's get into this reading and see how your person feels about you. The deck that I'm using is the Gold Foil Tarot. It's pretty noisy to shuffle, so do forgive that. <laughs> Everything you need, Sag, is down below the link to my website if you'd like a private reading. And I am still offering 30% off 30-minute love readings through the rest of the spring. Okay. Archangel Michael, thank you for joining us. This is the TGIF Weekly for my Sagittarians. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Friday, the 8th of March, 2024. Moving into the weekend and a brand new week. What do we have for Sagittarius? Thank you, Michael. Hmm. I'm hearing someone say, I don't quite know what to do about this. Okay. All right, my Saggies. Oh, cards are a bit tricky to pick up. They're metal cards. They're gorgeous, but they are a bit tricky. All right, guys. Four of Cups. So, Sag, someone may be offering you something, but your reaction is, I don't know if I want this. Nine of Cups. You may feel someone here is wanting to be indulged. Let's carry on. Knight of Pentacles. Wow, Nine of Swords. Ace of Swords. Whoa. So the way your person feels about you, Sag, is you're not interested in an offer because you think it's overindulgent. You think this person just wants to be indulged. You may feel they're sat in a little bit of ego. But with a knight of coins, Sag, they're not going anywhere. It's as if I'll wait here until you change your mind. You could be dealing with somebody pretty persistent. And with the Nine of Swords, Sag, you're nervous. This is you up at night not knowing what to do because you know the truth. The truth is you may have feelings for this person. You may find this person incredibly attractive. But the truth is you think they're sitting in narcissistic energy. And this is you thinking half of me wants to take this offer, but the other half of me is scared that they're going to expect too much, that I'm going to be saddled with someone who is going to expect the world, you know? But it's stressing you out, Sag, because you're sort of pulled towards this person. Okay. Eight of Pentacles. Four of Swords. Oh, Sag, you think about this person all the time. You think about them at night. You think about them during the day when you're working. It's as if I cannot get this person off my mind. The hangman, but you're stuck. As in, you don't think that this would work out. Lovers. All right, Sag. Are you feeling that this person would leave you to be with somebody else? Do you not trust this person? Do you think this is someone who's simply love bombing you? Do you think this is somebody who simply wants to be indulged? And this is you afraid that they wouldn't be faithful? Hmm. It's a challenging energy, guys. Temperance. This is your Saji energy. You're actually tempering your impulse to sort of charge towards them and say, yes, OK, fine, let's do this. Because there are emotions involved here, Sag, but you know it would be a disaster. And so with the Four of Pentacles, Saggy, you're holding back. You're making the decision to hold back, even though it's difficult to do so, even though you may feel as if you don't really want to. 
Five of Swords. Oh, Sag. What you're actually thinking about at this point is out of sight, out of mind. If I don't see this person again, I won't be tempted to say yes. This is you avoiding any opportunity of being where they are. If this person is ringing you to say, well, let's meet up anyway, you know, let's uh, get together and have lunch or let's have coffee. Your reaction is, no, I'm sorry, I'm busy. Well, no, I'm sorry, I'm not going to be in on that day. It's as if you want this person to get the hint. But it's incredibly difficult you saying these things, Sag, because deep down you don't really want to. Seven of Pentacles. You may be thinking about times you spent with this person, Sag. Nine of Pentacles. You're deciding to be single. Wow. So this is a tough one. Maybe, Sag, you've always wanted someone to offer you a stable commitment and here they are but you know this person is sat in narcissistic energy and I don't usually ban that word around but um yeah now the other thing Saj is they could be a fair bit younger than you male or female they're coming through as a knight but everything inside you Saj says I shouldn't go near this with a barge pole no 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 Underneath the deck, we have the chariot. The page of cups. I mean, I think, Sag, this is you moving on and saying to this person, I'm sorry, I can't do this. Eight of cups, you're walking away. You're walking away. And you're holding back, goodness me, from moving into this relationship. You're holding back. Sag. Underneath that, six of wands. You could simply feel Sagittarius that this person is sad and ego. They just want to win you, right? And they don't genuinely love you. Or you may be, Sag, concentrating on your own financial stability. You could be concentrating on your career, Sag, trying to take your mind off this person who's offering you a commitment. Because you're actually emotionally sat on the fence, even though on a practical basis, what you're thinking about is it would be a disaster. The good news, Sag, is you may be doing very well in your career. I mean, six of wands, nine of pentacles, pre-empress energy, you may be doing very well. So this is you thinking, Sag, well, I don't think this is going to work out. I've got to turn my back on this person, but I've got a great career. I really enjoy what I do for a living, you know. So Sag, from here, moving into the Angel Answers deck. It could be a challenging read, Sag, and if it is, as always, I will do you guys a bonus. Not that I can guarantee it's going to be a lovely reading, <laughs> but you know, Sag, I do my best. Uh, to give you a bonus if I feel that it's needed. So what do the angels have to say for my lovely Saggies? Thank you, Michael. Oh, cars are flying. Oh, and let's get them off the main table. Look for a sign, Sag. It may be the angels are saying to you, evaluate this person and their offer. Oh, Michael wants me to take these that fell. Okay. Oh, interesting. I feel sad that what the angels are saying is reconsider. If you've been sitting on the fence thinking, wow, I'm so attracted to this person, they're offering me a commitment, reconsider. Okay. Because there is something better around the corner. Someone who's more aligned with you and your future goals. Choose a new direction, Sad. Very clear. Yeah, those all came out. And I think deep down, Sag, you know, you know this is not your person. Perfect timing. 
I think Sagittarius, the angels are saying it's the perfect time to say no, to choose a new direction. And maybe the perfect time, Sag, to be honest with this person. You may have avoided them. You may have avoided them, Sag, because you were sitting on the fence. Do I want this? Oh, I think I really do, but I know it will be a disaster. I think the angels are saying just use this time. This is the perfect time to tell this person you have to let this go. Okay, wow, yeah. This is the perfect time, Sag, to communicate clearly to this person that you don't think this is going to work. But the angels are saying, Sag, remain positive. Love is going to come in, but I think the angels are asking you to delve deeply into your higher self. You know they're not right for you. You know they may be too immature, sad in ego, wanting to be indulged. And this is you, Sag, in a very serious career, doing extremely well. It's as if you know this wouldn't be an equal partnership. So yeah, Sag. All right, guys, I will do you a bonus. But let's get into this reading and see what else comes through. Let's get messages from this person to you. Let's do that. So Archangel Michael, what would this person want to say to Sag? Thank you. All I'm thinking about right now is how attracted to you I am. Yeah, the chemistry may be crazy, Sag. But is that also an indication that you feel this person doesn't deeply love you in the way that they should if they're talking about serious commitment? Do you think this person is just super attracted to you? interesting. What this person's saying to you, Sag, is please be patient because I'm afraid of commitment. So is that something that you already know? Are your little spidey senses going off thinking, I don't know why they're saying they want a commitment, a relationship with me, something serious, because they're too young or they're too immature, or I think they just want to sit in a place of indulgence with me? I mean, this is pretty clear. I miss our conversations and the sound of your voice. Sag, this is somebody who is moving very quickly towards you because you may have ended it with this person. It could have been two weeks ago. It could have been six months ago. But they're coming in with a really stable offer to commit. But you simply feel that they're not ready. You feel this person is sat in ego. You feel this person wants to be indulged. And everything inside you, Sag, is saying no, no, no. But they're persistent. Yeah. I was selfish and immature. Please forgive me. But Sag, I've got to be honest. Have they really changed? I mean, really? Because this is you saying no. Because you're turning your back on someone who was overindulgent. So you don't believe them if they're saying to you, I've changed. What you're thinking about is, mm, a leopard never changes its spots. I'm not sure I believe this person. I think this would be the biggest regret of my life. And so I have to turn my back. But it's been a challenge, Sag, because the chemistry is crazy. The attraction is there. And this person isn't taking no for an answer. <laughs> Sag, are they camping outside your front door? I don't know. Hmm. I feel so guilty about my actions and what I said to you. This person may have come out with something pretty harsh, Sag. It might be because it dented their ego that you pushed them away before. But everything is saying to you, Sag, this is someone who is really not ready. Not ready. I'm afraid of commitment. I know I was selfish and immature. Oh, but you're so sexy, Sag, you know? And this is you thinking this would just be a disaster. I'm sorry I keep hearing that word. Mm. Saggy, I fear you will never forgive me. So they did something that you thought was unforgivable. 
Mm. The thought of you drives me crazy. Sag, I've got to say, I think this person is simply physically obsessed with you. <laughs> I don't know what you've done to this person, Sag. It could be a smile. It could be a body. Uh, it could be you're very sexy. I don't know. Um, I don't know, Sag, but this person doesn't want to let you go. But I think, Sag, deep down, you know that this is just surface deep. I mean, where is the love? This person isn't telling you I'm desperately in love with you. You know, I want to spend the rest of my life with you. They're saying they're attracted to you. The thought of you drives me crazy. And I think that's what you're worried about. So, Zaj, this is you wanting to be with somebody who's going to offer you a really serious, stable commitment when, you know, you've got this person who is just fantasizing about maybe the physical side of the connection with you. And you know deep down this is not going to work. The problem is, Sag, because of the chemistry, you've been off and on as to whether or not you should really let this person go. But I think at this point, what you're realizing is it's too much. What else is this guy saying? All woman could be a woman. I don't know. We both require a period of healing. Yeah, Sag, um, they are uh, not accepting no. You may have said to them, it's not going to work. I'm sorry, I'm busy. I can't see you right now. Uh, let's leave it. Um, I've got to move on with my life. And it's as if they're not listening to what you're saying. If you're saying I'm busy, they're not getting it. You know, <laughs> what they're saying is, oh, well, I'll contact you next week. And this is you thinking that's not what I meant. Oh, Saj. What this person is saying is, OK, I'm sorry. I, I do feel guilty about what I said to you and, and what I did to you. Um... OK, you need a little bit of time. That's fine. We both require a period of healing. So I'm going to come back to you later on. And this is you thinking, no, don't come back to me later on. <laughs> yeah, sad. Ooh, they're obsessed. So, guys, um, let's move into the second reading. Let's have a look and see whether or not you're able to move on, whether or not this person's going to leave you alone or whether or not they're going to persist. OK. I will see you in the second reading. Okay, Sag, are you ready? Should we find out whether or not this person's going to be sleeping on your doorstep or whether or not uh, they're going to accept no for an answer? Let's see. Archangel Michael, what is the future, please, between Sagittarius and this person? What is the future between Sag and this person? Thank you, Michael. Yeah, it's sad you're realising this person's not for you. You could be a sad man, right? And you may have a, a younger Virgo Taurus Capricorn chasing you, but this is not someone that you feel you could have a serious relationship with. Maybe you're worried as a masculine, this is somebody who wants to be codependent on you. So... Could be connecting with a masculine or feminine saggy. All right, guys. Yeah, temperance. Your card of sag. I think what the angels are saying to you is pull back. You know deep down this is just sexual chemistry. It's just attraction. This is not your forever after person. What they're saying, Sag, is you're doing the right thing in holding back. Holding back and standing your ground. Two of Wands. You have been standing at crossroads because the attraction was there. But with the strength of cold Sag, you're going to hold back. You're going to hold back being intimate with this person again because you know it's a slippery slope, right? You're just going to get pulled back in. Ten of Wands. It's going to take a lot to hold back, Sag, because you know what it's like when you find someone incredibly sexy, you can't keep your hands off each other. You know, it's like, oh, this person really does it for you, but you know they're not good for you. <laughs> it's difficult, Sag. Yeah, Two of Pentacles. 
either you're trying to keep yourself busy stopping thinking about this person or sad for some of you you may know that you're not the only person that whoever this is is intimate with and it's a turn off I'm so attracted to you, but I know that you're going to sleep with somebody else next week, right? Maybe this is someone who does get a lot of attention because they're super attractive. They're very beautiful. They're good looking. They pull in people left, right and center. But you don't want to be with someone, Sag, where you're worried that they can't be faithful. Simple as that. Simple as that, Sagi. Ace of Wands. Hmm. Six of Swords. You are moving away from building a passionate new start with this person. You're saying no. Four of Swords. You're healing. You're resting. You're sort of getting yourself back together again, Sag. Seven of Pentacles. You are looking at the past. You're thinking, wow, you know, we were together for quite a long time. I've known this person for quite a while. But again, you simply feel... That it's just physical. You do. The star. Sag, I think this is you healing. You're pulling back and you're healing from the connection with this person. Yeah. And I have to say with the Ace of Pentacles, Sag, some of you are concentrating on a move. You could be moving location. <laughs> I don't know, Sag. I mean, is the chemistry that crazy? I mean, I don't know. When you see this person, do you just think about going to the nearest hotel? Because this is you thinking, I can't even bear to be in the same city or town as this person. Because when I see them, oh my goodness. <laughs> I mean, it may be drastic if you're thinking of moving. But who the chemistry, right? Page of Wands. Oh, okay. Sad, you're telling this person that you're moving away from the area. This is what you're doing. Because I think we have this person reaching out a sexy message again. And what you're saying is, I'm sorry, I'm healing, I'm moving forward. I'm taking a job in another area or I'm relocating. It's not going to work. Yeah, it's over. It's over, the death card. They can't believe it. Oh, Sag, they can't believe it. Yeah, but you're moving. You're moving on, chariot. See you later. Yeah, I'm going. I don't care if you stand in front of me naked. I don't care. <laughs> I'm leaving. I shouldn't laugh, Sag, because for some of you, this is really painful. But you don't feel as if you've got any option but to take drastic measures in really detaching from whoever this is. They could be a bit obsessive. But you know it's unhealthy. This is a tough one, Sag. But this is what you're going to do, I think. Underneath the deck, yeah, nine of cups. You know this person just wants to be indulged. With the five of wands, you also know that you guys argue like cats and dogs, you know. You can't seem to get on. There's always a problem with this person. They bring drama into your life. I think, Sag, with the energy of judgment, that's your card. You are going to make the judgment call to stand strong, turn your back, and maybe to concentrate on your career. Sag, this is you getting really serious about your life. You are manifesting success in your career. Now, if you're a feminine, you could be wanting to manifest somebody who is on the same page as you, somebody, I have to say, who is grown up, mature, somebody who's got a decent job, somebody who wants to build an empire with you. If you're a masculine Sag, you may, over the next few months, be simply deciding to concentrate on your career. You want to get yourself into a situation where you're sat in the King of Pentacles energy. All right, Sag. Moving into Sharina's star, Fortune Oracle. Let's have a look and see what the universe has to say. So Archangel Michael, what is the guidance from the universe, please, for Sag? Thank you, Michael. Birth. Universal energy brings you opportunity and possibility. Sag, you're turning your back and you're looking to your future. You're looking to your future. Fool. 
Have the courage to embrace change, take risks, be adventurous. Sag, you're moving forward, feeling excited about what's to come. You're leaving this person behind and you could very well be moving. You could be moving areas. Star, wow, beautiful. Hard times are over. Look forward to an abundance of happiness, enthusiasm and positivity. You have the star card came through, Sag, in your reading. That is healing. It's also the angels guiding you to look ahead. Yeah. Transformation. Again, Sag, you may be heading off across the water somewhere. Reach out for the power and strength to make changes, enrich your life and become the person you truly want to be. Yeah, Sag, you did not feel when everything was said and done that this person was supposed to be part of your future. Because Sag, for some of you, you're going to be flying high. You may be deciding to embrace change and move to a different state, different country. And you simply cannot see yourself, Sag, with this person in the future. You're on different pages, Sag. This seems to be somebody who is still wanting a good time. And Sag, I think you're getting really serious with your life. All right, my lovely Sagis, let's get a final message, as always, from Archangel Michael. Archangel Michael, what is your closing message of guidance, please, for my lovely Sagittarians? Lean on God and the angels for support. Dear God and angels, I give you this situation now and completely. I step out of the way and allow divine miracles to shine through everything and everyone involved. Lean on God and the angels for support at this time and look to your future, Sag. I think there's a lot of excitement in your future. Yeah. So, guys. I'm leaving it there. Have a lovely weekend, whatever you're up to. Take care of you, sending love and light your way. And many blessings. Bye, Sag.